From Sun to Food is a life science unit incorporating ideas about matter and energy in ecosystems, plant structure and function, and human impacts. Let's take a look into the unit at a glance. This unit covers several fifth grade life, earth, and physical science standards about energy and matter, plant growth, ecosystems, and human impacts. Each of the next generation science standards correspond to a Missouri learning standard listed in parentheses on this chart. Take a moment to pause the video and review them. In this unit, students try to figure out how a delicious pizza comes to be. The anchoring phenomenon used to connect students to the science content is the idea that we eat pizza, which has many different ingredients on it. So where do all these ingredients come from? After each lesson, students will reflect to consider what they have learned that will help them figure out the answers to the questions they have about how pizza comes to be. The design challenge for this unit is a culminating activity in Lesson 11. Closely connected to the anchoring phenomenon of how pizza is made, students are tasked with designing a pizza farm that minimally impacts the world and still feeds people. They research how farming and food choices impact the environment and then apply that research to plan a model of a farm. To try to explain the pizza phenomenon, students will develop a pizza farm model to show how energy and matter move through this system. They will have an opportunity to refine their model based on what they have learned along the way. This model can be used to help them consider how they will create their own pizza farm during the design challenge. Now that we have an idea about what students will study in this unit, take a look at the unit flowchart. This unit is divided into four sections and there are 11 lessons total. Section 1 asks students to gather evidence about the energy and matter in all living things. This section will take about nine days plus some extra monitoring time for plant growth. Here are some of the content level big ideas for Section 1 and how students will figure them out. Students compare living and non-living things, define matter and energy, and consider a pond ecosystem to figure out that animals use food energy for growth, movement, and survival. They will continue to apply this knowledge to the other sections of this unit. Students collect data from a sprouter and design their own investigations using bean plants to figure out that plants can grow without soil, but not without air and water. Also in this section, students set up a decomposition experiment to figure out that the matter of dead organisms breaks down to create soil. This will help them in Section 3 when they consider the role of decomposers in the cycling of matter. Section 2 asks students to dive deeper into plant structure and function to figure out how plants are able to get the energy and matter they need to create their own food. This section will take about five days. Students explore celery stalks and their bean plants in order to figure out how plant parts are able to obtain the water, light, and air the plant needs to live. They use ping pong balls and a fabric flower to model the process of photosynthesis. They figure out that plants take in carbon dioxide gas and release oxygen waste, which will help them further explore the cycling of matter in the next section. Section 3 moves students from individual organisms to the ecosystem level of energy and matter movement. This section will take about nine days. Students will explore the connection between exercise and oxygen needs to consider why plants are important to humans and how humans use oxygen from plants to get energy from food. This helps illustrate the cycling of matter in ecosystems. Students will also use pond ecosystem posters and organism cards in order to develop food chain and web models to show the transfer of energy within ecosystems. When they form the food chain and web models, they will see that the ultimate source of food energy is the sun. In the last lesson of this section, students analyze their decomposition experiment data and consider how the dead plant matter was able to break down into soil. 
They figure out that decomposers are responsible for this, and these organisms have an important role in the cycling of matter in an ecosystem. In Section 4, students take the information they figured out about matter and energy in ecosystems and apply it to consider how they might solve environmental problems. This section will take about seven days. Students will use self-documentation techniques in order to identify problems around their home or school. They will then brainstorm solutions to these problems. For the design challenge, students design a pizza farm that will preserve forest space while still feeding a large amount of people. By understanding the need for trees and how matter and energy moves through ecosystems, students will be empowered to make good choices to protect the environment. By the end of this unit, students will understand how matter cycles through ecosystems, how energy flows through a food chain, and how humans can use science ideas to create solutions to environmental problems in their community. For more information, visit our website, mysipartners.com. MySci, inspiring the next generation of scientists.